Let me now invite Igor Korokov from Intergraph to present to you our next honoree. Good evening, everybody. It is my pleasure to be here with you. I'm very glad to see the smiling faces here, and I'm proud to be among you. And uh, definitely, um, it is my pleasure to introduce our next honoree, who has been recognized for her work within the LGBT community. Carolyn Williams Clark is the LGBT Newcomer Community Services Coordinator at the 519 Church Street Community Center, where she runs the center's largest group, uh, LGBT refugee support group called Among Friends. Originally from Jamaica, Carolyn served as a co-chair of Jamaica Forum for Lesbian, All Sexuals and Gays and Women for Women for over seven years. In 2009, she was forced to leave the country after receiving death threats for her advocacy and activities in the LGBT community. After arriving in Canada, Carolyn put to use her deep understanding of the obstacles faced by many LGBTQ newcomers. She works tirelessly to connect newcomers with the legal assistance, counseling, healthcare, and other services in order to support them every step of the way in their transition to Canada. Please welcome Carolyn Williams Clark. This evening I'm honored to receive this award and I'd like to thank Skill for Change for recognizing my efforts and the 519 Church Street Community Center for giving me the opportunity to do this work. And I'd also like to congratulate my fellow um, notable honorees. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about the work that I do um, that merited me this award with the hope that it will somehow help you to raise awareness of the unique challenges faced by LGBT refugees in Canada and some of their successes. Other than offering one-on-one -on -one support, I do coordinate a weekly group meeting for the LGBT refugee claimants with an average attendance of 120 unique members. The group is represented by over 80 countries and 28 languages spoken a very rich cultural blend of newcomers with one thing in common, persecution. Many did extensive research before choosing Canada as a safe, welcoming country to seek refuge and build a life free of personal violence and indignity they faced in their own countries because of their inherent sexual identity and perceived gender identity. Once landed in Canada, many of my clients face new challenges accessing things such as health care, housing, and employment. In addition, the process rehashes many of the traumatic episodes that they have fought hard to forget by demanding narrations of disturbing details and proof. It is saddening to see the declining mental and physical health of my clients as they navigate the refugee process. The 519 has welcomed a vast number of LGBT refugee claimants seeking support and friendship. In 2012, the number topped 7,000. Our weekly sessions provide information, a well-deserved meal, networking, and the most valuable of all, a positive, safe space to express themselves. I have worked in my current capacity for the past three years, and I am personally still in awe of the courage and tenacity displayed by my clients. I this evening accept this award not just for myself, but on behalf of my clients, the oppressed who fled, the bold who chose Canada, and the courageous who would continue to build bridges on just possibilities. I thank you very much for honoring me this evening. Well, Carly, wonderful speech. You've shown us how far compassion and understanding can go. 